channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Recently, we've gotten a great log score off the of marketplace. These were all free. And uh, there is 13 hickory logs, uh, two white oak logs, and one red oak. So it's all gonna be firewood. I've been uh, trying to build my inventory up for bundles and I need hickory because a lot of the uh, barbecuing um, businesses around here are asking for it and I just don't have it. So a lot of beautiful saw logs, but we're gonna get a ton of firewood. So I figured I'd set you all up. I'll put this on time lapse and I'm just gonna get to cutting up these logs. We'll see how it turns out. Probably gonna be uh, two or three tanks of fuel burning this, but uh, it'll be pretty quick for you all. On these larger rounds, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Holtzforma G444. I tell you, it uh, really works at 25-inch uh, bar nice. Makes uh, quick work of cutting up these larger rounds. Here you can see I've got a tarp down, and that's to capture all the sawdust. You'll see what we're going to do with that in just a minute there, but uh, I'll tell you the smell of white oak. It's my favorite. All right, we just finished up the white oak log. You may be asking what's up with the tarp. However, as you can see, I caught the sawdust. So <clears throat> to me, white oak is one of the best smelling woods out there. I absolutely love it. Great childhood memories there. And even today when we go to the sale barn, they use the Amish, uh, the sawdust from the Amish mills that do oak blocking and stuff. Just smells great in there. So this is going straight to the barn chickens will like it give it a good smell in there look at all that nice firewood aside from that big knot there the rest is going to be really good bundle quality wood like I said I got one more white oak log right there I'll be doing the same with that the hickory I don't know it's just going to get piled up here and I'll clean it up later how we doing girls Right, got some eggs this morning. Oh my. About 50 pounds worth of bedding in there. Got a lone egg back here. <clears throat> Not gonna put it real heavy in here because it is pretty wet, but oh, it smells good. And we're gonna give the baby some. They'll appreciate it. They make good use of that. Scared the chicks to death, but <laughs> they'll enjoy it here in just a little bit. I think this white oak's almost gonna make a face cord of wood. One log, that'll be great. There we go. One, two. Ten rounds out of it. All right, we got uh, three hickories here. This is my other white oak. And the red oak right there. So 
Right, another hickory log down. Ugh. I tell you, I can't believe how much heavier this hickory is than that white oak. Never imagined that. And then I'm gonna count these, but this hickory and the white oak are probably a hundred year old trees. Gotta be close. There's easily 80 or more rings in there. Chuck cat. One of the advantages of working off this pow is I can take these, kind of rock them up on my quad. And there, there's really no weight. It's all on my leg. Them bottom ones, though, aren't going to be so uh, easy. I think we'll cut this white oak up and then uh, be it until I split that all up. All right, well, I'm going to call that a wrap for this morning. I appreciate you sticking along this far in the video. If you enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to follow, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification right beside it so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. All right, guys. Well, I call this a, a huge success for us. This stuff, I'm going to split it up small with the homemade vertical splitter. If that's of interest to you, make sure you check that out a few videos back. Uh, it's really been uh, great so far, but thank y'all again, and uh, we'll catch you on our next video. Y'all take care.